Good day everyone, it's me, Teacher Ray. Let us learn mathematics easy and fun. Mathematics for Week 1, Quarter 4. Learning Competency. Find the area of irregular figures made up of squares and rectangles using square centimeters and square meters. Find the area of triangles, parallelogram, and trapezoids using square centimeters and square meters. Let us have a review. What can you say about this figure? Yes, this is an irregular figure. When we say irregular figure, it is a figure that is not a standard geometric shape. Its area can be calculated using any of the standard area formulas. But some irregular figures and are made up of two or more standard geometric shapes. What is an area? An area is the number of square units that covers the surface of the closed figure. Area is measured in square units such as square centimeter, square feet, square inches, square meters, etc. When we are finding the perimeter of any figure, we add the measurement of the distance around the outside of the figure. So for example, this rectangle, it has 14 yard, 17 yard, 14 yard, and 17 yard. All you need to do is to add 14 plus 14 plus 7 plus 7 equals 42 yards in perimeter. The other one is Pentagon, it has five sides, so you're going to add five nine centimeters. So nine times five, 45, or nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine equals 45. Triangle, three sides, all the sides, you're going to add all the sides. And also the square, no? So in perimeter, the distance around the outside figure. This time, we will talk about the area. So the amount of square units inside a figure. Use different formulas for different figures. So first, we have a square. So a square has a formula of side times side or S times S. Well, square, even if we will not use this in our year today. So we have area pi times radius. No? So for a parallelogram, we have base times height. A triangle, of course, we have one half times base times height. And for a rectangle, we have length times width. Now, Andrew and his sister Anne made the vegetable garden as shown below. Find the area of their garden. As you can see, we have here an irregular figure. No. How can, can we solve, solve this irregular, irregular figure? figure? So to solve this irregular figure, we have two solutions here. In a figure or in a reg an irregular figure, we have two rectangle forms. The first one is this A. No? Okay. So the first one is this A. We have 5 meters and 5 meters and 3 meters. So area for rectangle A. So we have length times width. 5 times 3. For the solution 2, we have this letter B rectangle. We need to multiply 3 meters to 6 meters. So the total area of the figure, so for the A is 15 square meters plus we will add the two area 15 plus 18 equals 33 square meters.
For the solution number 2, there are two figures form. So this time, we will cut the figure like this one. So we have letter A for the square and letter B. Oh, sorry. So letter A is a rectangle also and letter B is another rectangle. So for figure A, 3 meters plus 3 meters times 3 meters equals 9 square meters. For the solution B, we have area of figure B, 8 meters times 3 meters equals 24 square meters. Then we will add the two area. 9 plus 24 equals 33 square meters. So remember this. To find the area of an irregular shape that is made up of square and rectangles, first, divide or cut the figure into squares and rectangles. Number two, find the area of the squares or rectangles made. Number three, add the area of the squares and or rectangles made to find the area of the irregular figure. And number four, Use the given formula in finding the area of trapezoid, triangle, and parallelogram. For your learning task 1, find the area of the irregular figure. So here, we have A is a square and B is a rectangle. Or you can use this as A. This one is A. You can use this as A, and this one is B. So, it's up to you kung, kung ito naman yung gagawin yung A or ito yung B. Na? For your learning task 2, follow the formula to find the area of these three figures. So, a trapezoid has B1 plus B2. This is this is the B1 plus B2 times 6 meters divided by 2. For triangle, we have 1 half times space times height. So 10 times 15 divided by 2. For number 3, we have base times height 25 times 36. Sorry for my voice, so let us continue. Find the uh, area using the given data. So, these are the given and you're going to find the formula to get the area of the figure. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something new. See you next week. Subscribe and comment on this video.